USDA has released detailed information from its 2012 Census of Agriculture. The county-specific data includes numbers on crop and livestock production, as well as demographics of farm operators. Cherry County and North Central Nebraska was tallied the top beef cow county in the nation, with a 2012 inventory of more than 135,000 head. Nebraska also placed two other counties in that category's top five, with Holt landing third and Custer fourth. The biggest soybean producer in Nebraska was Antelope County, while York County grew the most corn. As a state, Nebraska recorded the fourth highest value of agriculture sales while placing outside the top 15 for number of farms. However, with 49,969 operations, Nebraska actually bucked the national trend and grew its farm numbers from the 2007 census. In fact, it was the highest number since the 1997 census. Nebraska Department of Ag Director Greg Ibaugh joined us this week to talk about the state's stats and how Nebraska has managed to increase its farm operations. Well, I think that the upturn in the farm economy definitely uh, played the major role there. You know, we uh, have gone through periods of time where uh, people sent their kids to college and said, don't come back to the farm, we can't make any money, and that's not necessarily true now. People are sending their kids to college and saying, come back home, we, we need you to be part of the operation. Showing the value of what Nebraska has now, the market value of its land and buildings on the farm tripled in the last 10 years. Is that worrisome at all, or do you feel like farmers are leveraged appropriately? Well, I think that also is an uh, outcome of the return of profitability to agriculture. Uh, farmers uh, usually invest their profits back into their operations and land and machinery, and so that's exactly what they've done. And I think that, you know, it's a good sign for Nebraska agriculture. I think that we're different than the last time we maybe had the real estate bubble in the 70s where that, a lot of that was done on debt leverage. And uh, we aren't, uh, it's not the same. Now, bankers tell me that more of it is cash up front and the debt to equity ratios within those operations is appropriate for to be able to withstand some adversity and maybe a downtrend. The top beef county across all the U.S. was located in Cherry County, Nebraska, just over 135,000 head in the, la in the uh, latest census. Uh, and two of the other top five were also in Nebraska. Is that a source of pride for the state? Well, three of the top five, of course, it's a, a source <laughs> of pride. We've always considered ourselves to be the beef mm -hmm. state, and so we're just kind of underscoring that. Right. Uh, that claim right now and you know we moved over Texas earlier this year in uh, cattle on feed so uh, this month we happen to be tied with them but in general we've been ahead of them all year this year in cattle on feed so a lot of positives in our beef industry we still uh, you know our pork and dairy and poultry industry still has some strength in it that we maybe under uh, appreciate at times and don't talk about as much but we definitely have room uh, in those categories as well for, to uh, concentrate on some expansion and look for opportunities there. And I think that's part of how we get to bringing younger people back to the farm. And you'll notice in those numbers are uh, under 35 farmers uh, increased in number, which uh, uh, went against a national trend as well. And so there's reason to be optimistic there in Nebraska as well. Do you think uh, Nebraska continues to grow in really all of these areas by the time we see that next ag census five years from 2012, which would be 2017? Well, I think it's incumbent on all of us to uh, work hard in state government, in economic development, even at the local levels, to look for those opportunities to keep pushing agriculture. And uh, I think that we're going to continue to see that. I think we have programs in place to help transition our older farmers that are looking to retire and bring in young and beginning farmers to replace them. And so I'm very optimistic for agriculture in Nebraska. You can find specific data from the 2012 Census of Agriculture online at agcensus.usda.gov.